All right, Pisces, let's do a reading. Today is February 8th, 2023. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, you are welcome into this reading for the Pisces people. Please remove any of my energy out of this reading. This is for the collective. Thank you and amen. I already said a prayer before getting on camera, so I just, I know that when I ring my bell, it's loud for you guys. So I try to do it before. Um, all right, Pisces, December, December, holy shit. Something, something surrounding December, Sagittarius or Capricorn, okay, maybe significant. All right, what do we got for Pisces? Today's February 8th, not December. Where did December come from? All right, anyways, February. <laughs> February, we're in February now. All right, messages for Pisces, please, for the month of February. Next 72 hours. What do you got for Pisces? What do they need to hear at this time? So we have the bear. <laughs> really? Danger, especially in money matters. Okay. Um, interesting. Pisces, maybe I'm picking up on a different collective than I have been this last week. The wheel, allowing your right, oh my gosh, allow, <laughs> here we go. All right, the wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly in the rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters. All right. And the lobster, financial pinch. So, all right, whoever I'm tapping into today, Pisces, keep in mind, keep in mind that not every message will resonate with you. Um, so take what fits, leave the rest. Be sure to hit that like button, show some support. So we have the flute. Disappointment in a friend or a lover in the month of April. So what is that? Um, Pisces, Aries, Aries season, Taurus. Okay. All right. So let's see what's going on with this message. Why is danger, especially in money matters here for Pisces? These cards are already pre-shuffled. I'm just gonna give them another shuffle. All right, Pisces. Danger. Why is the bear here for Pisces in today's reading? The Hermit, Virgo energy, the Four Swords in the reverse. Okay. So the Hermit is, you know, does self-reflecting, goes into Hermit mode. Um, isolation. Finding the mental strength. So, okay, let me just finish this. Four of Wands. Some of you guys need to get out of isolation, okay? For some of you. And Three of Swords. So danger, especially money matters. There's some type of third party heartbreak here or some type of a betrayal, loneliness, um, depression, sadness, unhappiness. But someone's someone's finding the mental strength to come out of hermit mode. So isolation. Keep in mind, Pisces, if this isn't you, this could be an energy surrounding. Oh, my gosh. This could be an energy surrounding you, okay? I'm like having issues with words today. I'm tired. I worked out like, yeah, my daughter tried to, um, I don't know why she'd be challenging me. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah. Side note. Um, so with the hermit, the four swords, four swords talks about coming out of like isolation, coming out of a break, coming out of like, 
you know, some type of fear, anxiety, worry, or, you know, like meditation, rest, rejuvenation, the hermit is in. So with this being your first card out, you may have Virgo in your chart, but I feel like you guys are coming out or there's, you could even be learning some information or did some soul searching. And now you're like ready to come out. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. So four of swords or four of uh, wands, three of swords. There's some type of heartbreak surrounding either a family situation, a marriage. Um, so maybe someone's like wanting to come out of. But there's some type of danger, especially in money matters due to like some type of third party or some type of betrayal. Oh, shit. Five of swords. Yeah. Yeah. So someone here is definitely bullying, intimidating, doing some underhanded shit, self-sabotaging a situation, bad behavior, okay? Um, trying to win at all costs. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords can talk about like mental entrapment or feelings being like feeling restricted or isolated in a sense. So someone may have also found out some type of information about some like betrayal, some type of bullying, and someone's wanting to come out of isolation, maybe return home um, or return, yeah, return home, return back to someone's roots or their family or something to that nature. So show me the wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. All right, why is indecisiveness here for Pisces? Why is it showing up in Pisces reading? Indecisiveness. Allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Two of Cups. Oh. So a soulmate connection. There's some type of partnership, a union here. Unity, love, compatibility, happy couple, um, king of pentacles, maybe with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Some of y'all may be meeting, oh, some of you guys may need to, like, get out there because you guys could meet, like, someone who's financially stable, a mature, grounded male, possibly, uh, someone who's a business owner, someone who's wealthy. This could be a soulmate. Hmm. Tell me more about this wheel. The Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. One more. Seven of Wands. One more. So there's some type of blocking or standing up for... Someone here is like very... The Queen of Swords... Is someone who's very intelligent. She's she's smart. She cuts out people, places, and things that no longer serve her. She's very protective, independent, okay? A truth speaker, a truth seeker, someone who's honest, truthful. This person has up boundaries. I don't know who, who is who here. If you could be this king of pentacles or you're meeting a king of pentacles, five of swords reversed. Hmm. So if there was some type of like... There could have been some like disputes over money as well. This could go so many ways. So where do I start? Um, you could be this king of pentacles. You could be a business owner. You could be someone who's financially stable in a relationship with maybe an air sign or someone with air in their chart. This person... Um, Maybe setting up boundaries, not wanting to fight for, you know, try and find some type of peaceful resolution. This is someone who stands up for themselves, though. If this is vice versa, this is, you could be this queen of swords, possibly, who, you know, is trying to come to a peaceful resolution and some type of drama fighting conflict. Um, maybe with family or... But you have your boundaries set up. You're very head over heart. You're, you're not taking no shit. You're speaking very clearly. Okay. I don't know if you're in a relationship with the king of pentacles or you're meeting a king of pentacles. Someone who's financially stable. 
So why is too much concern with sexual matters here? Or these two people could be two people unbeknownst to you. Like you may not even have anything to do with this. So whatever. All right. Eight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Eight of Wands is moving very quickly. Travel news. Someone here uh, from someone who is mature, grounded. This could be from... Well, now you have the King and Queen of Pentacles out here. Hmm. Too much concern with sexual matters. Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. There's a lot of people here. Is someone in like a, what is it, polygamy? A polygamous relationship? Or is this like swingers or some shit? The king of pentacles to the queen of pentacles. So is there a married couple here? There's a queen of swords and a queen of wands. There's some juggling. Some quick action being taken. Someone may be traveling towards the Queen of Wands. Wanting to balance something out. Someone who's very vibrant, energetic, optimistic, funny, strong, creative. This person may be into fitness for some. Let me one more. Someone here has too much concern with sexual matters. So, Four of Pentacles. Someone's holding on to like... So is someone in a marriage, but they're holding on to like a, uh, another woman or another man or a couple? <laughs> I don't know. There's a queen of swords here who's like trying to come to a peaceful resolution by setting up boundaries. Someone may also be defending themselves. Like, so say if someone found out that they were in, yeah, because you have the third party over here. So yeah, if, if someone found out they were in a third party, if this was the Queen of Swords, whoever is the Queen of Swords, I feel like someone found out that they were a third party and they decided to like disengage with this situation. However, there's a Queen of Wands over here also, and there's like a couple. So... These two are like at a commitment, a business contract. Someone has too much concern with sexual money. Show me financial pinch. Someone's like holding on to somebody, but they're also juggling like two, two of pentacles, four of pentacles. Like someone's holding on to like another queen of wands, someone who's very attractive, fun, flirty. Okay, show me the financial pinch. Why is financial pinch here for Pisces? Page of Swords, so get more information for Swords. Temperance, so something here is being like, something here needs to be done in moderation. Someone needs to take a break, get more information. There could be some feelings of stress, anxiety, maybe surrounding information over a child. Page of Swords, could be an air sign child, doesn't have to be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Now you got the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is this queen of... No, that don't make sense. Give me one more. Oh, oh, oh. Give me one more financial page. Thank you. Two of Cups. What in the world? Good Lord and Jesus. You got the four of swords out here twice, but one in the upright, one in the reverse. There's some type of greed here. Um, someone who's un ungrounded, uh, jealous, shallow, cares about their social status. Someone's in a relationship with this Queen of Pentacles. Is this Queen of Pentacles the one that's juggling? Keep in mind, 
uh, tarot has no gender, so this can be like flip-flopped. Somebody here has like, someone's juggling, and it could be whoever this Queen of Pentacles is. But she's in a, she's in a relationship. She could be stressing over some type of information. And someone may be looking for information. This could be about finances or children. Or about loyalty, honesty. Someone here could be a gold digger as well. Like someone may be in a relationship with this King of Pentacles because you have the Two of Cups, King of Pentacles. Someone may be in a relationship with this King of Pentacles just for the money. But this is someone who's unfaithful. They're jealous. They spend recklessly. Because then you have the Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups, but she's in reverse. Like maybe someone jumped into something too quickly. Someone may have met this person while traveling with this Eight of Wands next to it. This King of Pentacles may be the one that's like, he may be, okay, so this Queen of Swords um, could be like a legal advisor or something. So if he's in a relationship with someone who's like after his money and da 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 da, da Five of Swords reversed, Seven of Wands, Queen of Swords, this may not be, this may just be like an energy, not another person. So maybe he's, or well, it could be another person. It could be like a legal advisor or someone who's, you know, oath to tell the truth, or someone, you know, an attorney or something to that nature, because he's trying to find a peaceful resolution, trying to set up boundaries, trying to stand up for, for you know, possibly his, his status, his finances, or whatever the heck. His wife may be, like, messed around with the fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. Or whatever. And Harry's Leo Sage maybe mess around with his wife, however you want to put it. There's some type of financial pinch here though. Danger, especially money matters. Yeah, someone's extremely like stressed out, worried, staying up at night, losing sleep at some type of a breaking point. This four of swords can talk about like fear, anxiety, worry, um, needing to take a break, needing to like rest, uh there could have been some information that came in and it's causing somebody a lot of stress and worries because maybe someone was unfaithful in a, in a soulmate connection because that is a soulmate connection. You got the two of cups out here twice. Disappointment in friend and lover. That's the next card. Yeah, someone's going to be disappointed up in this joint. Okay, let me six of wands. Hmm. Page of cups. Oh. Oh. Probably more. Hmm. Queen of Swords again. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There's going to be a message of good news that's going to bring in some type of success, public recognition, or this could be some type of... Someone may also be announcing a pregnancy publicly. Maybe online or on social media. How does the two of swords, queen of swords go together? So someone here is at a crossroads. Someone has a choice between two. And you have the queen of swords. What is the Queen of Swords? Something may be happening in the month of April. It's the Queen of Swords. The Seven of Cups reverse. So someone here is seeing through some type of an illusion. But the Two of Swords talks about being unable or unwilling to make a choice or a decision because you can't see something clearly. So whoever this Queen of Swords is, she may be coming in with some like honest, truthful communication that like releases the illusion of what was stagnant so someone here was like refusing to make a choice or a decision this could be dna results yeah and someone's going to be disappointed when this information comes in but ultimately this is a message of good news so say if so okay 
I don't mean to be like shallow or whatever, but the way I'm seeing this is like, say if someone had like a cheating ass wife or a cheating ass husband and there was like some type of pregnancy on the side with the side piece or mistress, it's like now that husband or wife is like, I hope that's not my baby, <laughs> you know, because, she, you know, their wife's or husband or whatever is a piece of whatever. Anyways, um, so someone's like, this is almost like a, a message of relief. Like there's some type of information that comes in that, that clears up the confusion. And there could have been something that was at a stalemate or someone had a choice between two or someone here wasn't making a choice or a decision because there was some type of information that they, they weren't clear on. But then this Queen of Swords comes in and speaks some type of truth in which releases the confusion. So someone is disappointed in a friend or a lover, but ultimately this, the page of cups, six of wands, that's good news. So however that resonates. Okay. Um, why is April here? Someone's seven of swords. Yeah. Maybe in the month of, okay. So uh, maybe in the month of April, someone's going to find out some type of, well, seven of swords is in the upright. So maybe in the month of April, someone's strategizing because this card literally says making a break for it. So maybe in the month of April is when someone will be departing this situation. But they're like strategizing, lying. There was cheating, thievery, trickery, maybe lack of resources or um, the tower. Yeah. So in the month of April, Scorpio energy, that's when something's going to blow up due to whatever these lies are, this deception. So I don't know if this information is going to be discovered in the month of April, or this is already discovered, but it's going to take, you know, where are we at? February, March, April, a couple more months to like actually crumble. The tower is chaos, destruction, upheaval, and it's due to some type of lies, trickery, thievery. This could even be a divorce. You know, this tower could be a divorce. So... Because someone here is a lying, cheating little shit. All right. Let's keep going. April. Did I say someone's name could be April? If not, I'm, I'm saying it now. Um, the high priest is in the reverse. Whoa. Yeah, secrets are coming out. Holy shit. There was some type of manipulation, trickery here by another woman. Or some type of an illusion and deception. But that shit's coming out. Secrets. The high priestess could talk about secrets. Hidden knowledge, you know, but that shit's coming out. It's about to blow. Ooh. I'm about to blow their cap off. And the lovers, yeah, regarding the situation that someone here had a choice between two lovers, or that there was a side piece or a mistress, and someone's about to be left out in the motherfucking cold. Someone here is about to have financial problems. Yeah, five of wands, conflict, drama, fighting. Could be with the Cancerian. I have a cubs. Dang, you guys see this? I don't know what the chariot's here for. It could be with the cancer. The seven of cups. There you go. Queen of cups. Four of cups. You may be rejecting or someone feels like they missed an opportunity with you because of some type of devil, magician. Oh, gosh, the plot thickens. Okay, let me just stop. Um, you got five, five, five. There's about to be. So this is like rapid uh movement the chariot is fast forward movement there could could be travel but there five 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 symbolizes change you got five 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 something here is about to change real fucking quick someone's about to be in sadness regret there's about to be some arguing some fighting someone being left out in the cold financial struggles due to someone competing with somebody possibly okay and then you have the Seven of Cups, someone who is creating some type of illusions. Then you have the Queen of Cups. Maybe someone was creating illusions surrounding you. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. Someone here may have had like a bunch of different feminine females that they were dealing with. But there's some type of missed opportunity. So I don't know if you're missing an opportunity. You're rejecting something. You may be ignoring something because you may see someone as the devil or someone who's just very manipulative in a dark way. Or someone here is like... Uh, you know, third party energies. Lord Jesus. Yeah, someone's about to have some financial issues because someone here is has too much concern with sexual matters.
Yeah, there's heartbreak here within a marriage with this Four of Wands, Three of Swords. Because of somebody's like jealousy, their spite, Virgo energy is here on this side. Someone was bullying, intimidating. Major Arcana I see out here is Scorpio, Gemini, Pisces. Um, Virgo. Could be any sign. We have all elements out here, but... Yeah, someone's, someone's worried about this information. Curiosity killed the cat. Financial pinch. Hmm. Let's get a few cards from the Kipper to clarify this reading. What else do you want to tell Pisces about this reading? Wealthy man. Yeah, someone was dealing with a wealthy man. This King of Pentacles energy up here. Someone or this wealthy man was dealing with a lot of women. Family room. Yeah, family matters. This family room is empty. And imprisonment, whoa. Someone just feels stuck. Someone could feel stuck. This family room is empty. Hold on. Journey in the reverse. Someone felt like they couldn't travel or someone here is being restricted. In some form or fashion. And thief. By the way. Someone may have stolen someone's time. Oh, excuse me. You see this little kid stealing his, his time watch. So this could be the wealthy man, and this this woman almost looks like she's like gloating or like laughing, like he he ha ha. Maybe that's her kid stealing from him, or like, or she's laughing because he stole his time, energy, resources. Why is imprisonment out here? Nine of Swords. So this could be like a mental prison. A lot of sleepless nights, worry, someone feeling stuck in their head, can't sleep at night. Why is family room here? So there is hope or healing within a family dynamic that maybe... Let me do one more. Star card, Aquarius energy. And the strength card, Aquarius Leo energy. Someone here is gonna need someone here is trying to find the strength and courage to heal a situation. Someone's trying to stay hopeful that they can heal something. Maybe some cycle that closed out. Show me this wealthy man. What's up with him? The Queen of Wands. This could be that a fire sign or an earth sign. of pentacles and eight of cups he's going to receive like some type of gift or a payout or he's given some type of gift or a payout and walking away like someone's going to be able to walk away from a situation but there there may have to be some money paid out or there may be some money received give me one on the six of pentacles the queen of cups so Pisces, you could be this wealthy man or this wealthy woman. Or maybe you're going to receive some type of financial aid to walk away from this wealthy man. Oh, shit. 
like that. Yeah, maybe you're going to, I was clarifying the Six of Pentacles, maybe you're going to receive some type of, you know, gift or payout that's going to allow you to walk away from a situation. Why is Journey in the reverse? The Ace of Cups. So someone may have been restricted from like traveling to start something new because they were juggling or they were going back and forth between a situation. Why is Thief here? Six of Swords. Yeah, someone moving on, moving away. Someone's going to move on to new love. Because someone someone was juggling. Give me Thief. Why is Thief here? The Emperor. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Um. So this emperor may be coming out of like poverty or this the Gemini energy. Gemini Aries, someone here may be coming out of like, someone may be wanting to come back from the cold as well, making a head of this. Could be a Gemini here as well. Someone's making a decision over a soulmate connection. They're wanting to take charge and come in from out of the cold because maybe they found out that they were dealing with a thief. There could have been a lot of money involved, but the love, there was no love, King and Queen of Swords and Ten of Pentacles, or there was like a lot of money at stake, but in this divorce, okay, or this separation. Yeah, in this divorce, three swords, some type of heartbreak surrounding this, this connection here. Someone's about to be single or someone's trying to manifest that so that they can move on. There's some regrets here for being toxic. There may be a message coming in or some type of news or someone's plan to like um, sabotage something is being rejected because judgment's being called. Okay, so I'm going to leave this reading here. If this reading resonates, let me know. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one. Peace.